dear friends it's hearty welcome once again friends in this lecture today we are going to learn new topic that is dna fingerprinting the topic for our study is dna fingerprinting dna fingerprinting this technique is also known as dna profiling or dna typing or it may be known as molecular fingerprinting i said that the dna fingerprinting this technique is also known as dna typing or dna profiling or may be known as molecular typing first of all let me tell you what does it mean actually dna fingerprinting it is a modern technique by which the dna molecules of different individuals are compared dna fingerprinting it is a modern technique by which the dna molecules of different individuals are compared by locating specific and identical nucleotide sequence especially in the forensic science especially in the forensic laboratories for the identification of criminals so we have to study in detail about the basic principle behind dna fingerprinting as well as its mechanism so once again i am going to repeat the meaning of dna fingerprinting i said that dna fingerprinting it is the modern technique in which dna molecules of different individuals are compared dna molecules of different individuals are compared by locating identical and specific type of nucleotide sequence nucleotide sequence we all are known that dna is nothing but it is polynucleotide molecule it is double stranded polynucleotide molecule it means both the strands of dna are made up of a particular sequence of different nucleotides that is adenine guanine thymine cytosine etc etc so by locating a specific type of and identical nucleotide sequence present in the dna of different individuals a particular type of individual is identified by using this technique now the technique of dna fingerprinting first of all invented by a british geneticist namely sir alec jeffries sir alec jeffries why in india the technique of dna fingerprinting was started by two different scientists namely dr kashyap and dr lalji singh now first of all you must know what does it mean fingerprinting pahilande aplyala samjhun gyaycha fingerprint mhanje ka suruvatila mi tumhala asa matlo कि डीएनए फिंगरप्रिंटिंग ही जी टेक्निक है या टेक्निक मधे वेगवे इंडिविजुअल्स डीएनए की तुलना के लिए जाते कंपेरिजन के विथ द हेल्प ऑफ सम आइडेंटिकल न्यूक्लियोटाइड सिक्वेन्स का विशिष्ट प्रकार न्यूक्लियोटाइड सिक्वेन्सेस डीएनए मधे व्यक्ति डीएनए मध्य कुठे है यहाँ दोन व्यक्ति की तुलना के लिए जते प्राख्यान उपयोग किया फॉर द आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट क्रिमिनल्स इन फोरेन्सिक साइंस नाउ व्हाट इज फिंगरप्रिंट फिंगरप्रिंट मे वी नो दैट ईच एंड एवरी इंडिविजुअल हैज इट्स यूनिक जीनोम ईच एंड एवरी इंडिविजुअल 
has its unique genetic constitution, has its unique genetic makeup, has its unique genetic complement. And that genetic constitution, that genetic makeup of any individual is of course received from his parent. 50% comes from the male parent, 50% comes from the female parent and thus I say this unique genetic constitution or unique genetic complement, unique genetic makeup of any particular individual is said to be his fingerprint. कोणत्या ही विशिष्ट अशा व्यक्तीच्या जे जेनेटिक मेकअप आहे जेनेटिक कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन आहे ते त्याच्या पुरताच मर्यादित असत अँड वी नो दिस जेनेटिक कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन दिस फिंगरप्रिंट कॅन नॉट बी अल्टर्ड ऍट ऑल बाय एनी नोन टेक्निक कोणत्याही पद्धतीने त्या व्यक्तीच्या सेल्स मध्ये असणारा जेनेटिक कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन त्याचं जेनेटिक मेकअप हे आपण बदलू शकत नाही अँड this unique genetic makeup of any individual is nothing but its fingerprint please don't get confused with the term fingerprint okay this dna fingerprinting has nothing to do with these fingerprints please try to understand why this name is given to this technique as dna fingerprinting because you know initially in the past the fingerprints of the criminals were used for their identification isn't it but nowadays this modern technique is used for the identification of criminals so only the name is given as dna fingerprint it has nothing to do with these fingerprints these fingerprints can be altered by different techniques but these dna fingerprints that is the genetic makeup of individual cannot be altered and that's why we can identify any individual by using this technique now initially we people have to study about the principle behind dna fingerprinting the dna fingerprinting marks a principle kay kutlya tatva var he technique vaparla jata te adi aplyala samjun gyaycha so let us talk about a principle of dna fingerprinting friends we all are aware and studied in topic genomics and while discussing about the human genome project that all individuals are 99.9% alike at genetic level all human beings are 99.9% alike at genetic level it means in all human beings the nucleotide sequence is about 99.9% similar in the dna of all individuals yacha artha asa hoto ki sagya human beings cha jo dna tapasla ja abhyas kela तर त्यांच्या न्यूक्लिओटाईड सिक्वेन्समध्ये जवळपास नाईन्टी समानता दिसते अँड द डिफरन्स अमंग द इंडिव्हिज्युअल्स इज ओनली ड्यू टू द पॉइंट वन टू पॉइंट टू पर्सेंट ऑफ न्यूक्लिओटाईड सिक्वेन्स इट मीन्स ऑल ह्युमन बिंग्स आर अलाईक ॲट जेनेटिक लेवल बाय अबाउट नाईन्टी and only there is a dissimilarity only there is a difference in 0.1 to 0.2% of the genome and this dna which is unidentical among the individuals ha jo bhag ahe dna cha ki jacha madhe fakt farak disto this part does not code for any protein or rna you know such part of dna which does not code for any protein or RNA is known as non coding part it is known as non coding region or introns is that clear we have already studied let us look at the blackboard consider here is supposed to be a single dna molecule now this double stranded dna molecule is made up of number of 
nucleotide pairs we shall consider suppose this much part what i am going to show with the help of yellow chalk does not code for any protein or rna thus this part is known as non coding region non coding part of dna or it may be known as the intron and these non coding region these introns show many repeatedly occurring short sequences of nucleotides listen very carefully हे जे नॉन कोडिंग रीजन आहे डीएनए वरचे ज्यांना आपण इंट्रॉन्स म्हणतो त्यांच्यामध्ये देयर आर प्रेझेंस ऑफ मेनी रिपीटेडली ऑकरिंग शॉर्ट सीक्वेंसेस ऑफ न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स शॉर्ट सीक्वेंसेस ऑफ न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू सपोज इन दिस नॉन कोडिंग रीजन इन दिस इंट्रॉन देयर इज सपोज टू बी अ न्यूक्लियोटाइड सीक्वेंस सच एज जी टी a a c one short sequence here i have mentioned now this short sequence of nucleotide appear repeatedly many a times this short sequence of nucleotide appears repeatedly in this intron in this non coding region many a times and such repeatedly occurring short sequences of nucleotides in the non coding region of dna are called as tandem repeats tandem repeats or these are called as the variable number of tandem repeats variable number of tandem repeats v n t r v n t r s now the number of these vntrs the number of these tandem repeats in non coding region is variable from person to person arthat pratyek vyakti cha dna var asnarya non coding region madhya ya tandem repeat chi sankhya tanchi size tancha location he vegvegla asto and it is the base for the technique of dna fingerprinting it means that the size length location of these vntr in the dna of different position is unique is fixed and it is the concrete evidence for the identification of any particular individual because it cannot be altered again i would like to tell you in detail suppose if we consider kalpana kara ki apan ya thikani a ya individual la ani b ya individual la consider kelo suppose here is the dna of first chromosome of a individual ya thikani a ya individual cha pehla chromosome madla ha dna ahe here is also the dna of first chromosome of b individual now in this a individual just consider this dna has such type of non coding region yellow color these are non coding region in this first non coding region of dna of a individual suppose there are presence of in all 10 short sequences of nucleotide pairs 10 short sequences of nucleotide pairs kalpana kara ya thikani ya a individual cha pehla chromosome madla ha dna ahe tyamade ha jo ek non coding region ahe intron ahe ya intron madhe samja is made up of only 10 short sequences of nucleotides which short sequences say for example g t a g t a g t a in this manner this g t a represent one short sequence and this each short sequence 
occur repeatedly here in this one region. In this another region on the same DNA at another location, suppose same short sequence of nucleotides appear suppose 20 times okay but in this B individual parantu ya B individual cha first chromosome cha DNA var matra the location of that VNTR location of that VNTR is different means it will not come like the A let me show suppose here is only one VNTR and this VNTR or this non-coding region contain suppose 30 short sequences of nucleotides now very simple the location length size of this VNTR is different from person to person and with the help of which only person can be identified or two persons can be compared is that clear mind well I said that there is no possibility of identical or similar VNTR in any two individuals except identical twins identical twins vyatirikta kontyahi dol vyaktin madhe adhernaya VNTR saman nasta and the probability of having similar VNTR is only one in 300 million people javal pas 300 million peoples madhe kochi ashi ekhadi ke saste ki jav madhe दोन व्यक्तींचं VNTR हे सारखं असू शकतं सो हियर आय टोल्ड यू अबाउट द बेसिक प्रिंसिपल बिहाइंड द डीएनए फिंगरप्रिंटिंग नाउ वी हैव टू स्टडी द एक्चुअल मेकॅनिझम आपल्याला आता या ठिकाणी डीएनए फिंगरप्रिंटिंगचं प्रत्यक्ष मेकॅनिझम शिकायचं आहे बट बिफोर टू दैट लेट अस टॉक अबाउट द सोर्स ऑफ सॅम्पल मटेरियल यू नो फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ डीएनए फिंगरप्रिंटिंग the DNA molecules are necessary of any individual with the help of only which the DNA fingerprinting is carried out and that's why let us talk about the biological source of DNA let me tell you biological sources for DNA fingerprinting now for the purpose of DNA fingerprinting the DNA is collected from so many different biological materials DNA fingerprinting sati awashya kasnara DNA he veg vega biological materials pasun milona zau shakta say blood stain kuthe hi asle la ekhada rakta cha thin rakta cha da we know that blood consists of different types of blood cells such as RBCs, WBCs and platelets but the WBCs are nucleated and thus the DNA can be obtained from the nucleus of that WBCs. Manje, the WBC cha nucleus madhe asle la DNA ya thikani melona zau shakta ani tatsa opiyo ya technique madhe kela zau shakta. Or semen of male. You know semen male reproductive fluid which contain millions and millions of sperm. So even from the sperm, from the nucleus of sperm, the DNA can be isolated. Even a small piece of tissue, kuklehi prakartsa lahansa tissue, say maybe the skin tissue, isn't it? Ekhada lahansa skin tissue dari asla, tari tacha cells madun DNA hai isolate kela zata milona zau shakta. Even a small piece of hair with root all of you might be known that the hair is made up of protein keratin the part of hair which comes above the skin is called shaft but the part of hair which is embedded within the skin tissue is called root and to that root some of the skin cells remain attached so that part that root part of the hair is also enough to obtain the DNA for DNA fingerprinting. Also, the bone marrow. You know bone marrow? It is the tissue 
present in the marrow cavity of bones. So these are the different biological sources. Here we have the biological sources. Even the saliva or mouth swab may be used for the collection of DNA because we know the saliva and mouth swab contain some of the mucosal cells of our mouth cavity, oral cavity and that cells are used to obtain the DNA. So this is all about the biological sources. Now let us talk about the actual mechanism of DNA fingerprinting. Procedure of DNA fingerprinting. DNA fingerprinting it involves so many different steps. Let us talk one by one each. First, isolation or extraction of DNA. The DNA is isolated, extracted or obtained from any of the biological sample material as we discussed few minutes before. That is either from blood cell or maybe from the sperms, maybe from bone marrow etc. etc. Here, the isolation or extraction of DNA is carried out from the sample material by using a special technique known as high speed refrigerated centrifuge. High speed refrigerated centrifuge means that simple material is centrifuged at very low temperature so that the DNA can be separated, isolated and obtained from sample material for the purpose of DNA fingerprinting. So let us consider, suppose these are the cells and after their centrifugation DNA molecules are obtained. Pile step upon pile. Now come to the second step is amplification amplification means what if the dna obtained from the sample material is in minute quantity that is in very little quantity ya sample material pasun aplyala je dna milal ahe te jo atishay minute little kami pramanat asel tar its amplification is carried out it means many copies of that DNA are made by using one technique known as PCR Polymerase Chain Reaction It is actually the artificial way of multiplication or amplification of DNA Polymerase Chain Reaction PCR So first step we have studied that the DNA is isolated or extracted from the sample material by using technique of high speed refrigerated centrifuge. Second step amplification means if that DNA obtained is in minute quantity then it is amplified its many copies are made by using a technique PCR polymerase chain reaction. Third step, fragmentation. Name itself indicate. Fragmentation means the DNA molecule is cut off into many pieces. DNA molecule is cut off into many small fragments by using enzyme restriction endonuclease. Restriction endonuclease. This enzyme is also called as a biological scissor or molecular scalpel because this enzyme has ability to cut the DNA molecule at specific site so that the DNA get so that the DNA is cut off into many small fragments into many small pieces. Now come to the next step that is gel electrophoresis. Before to that let me show here in diagram due to the fragmentation here the DNA molecule is cut off into 
many small fragments. These are DNA fragments. Of course, these DNA fragments are not of equal size. They are unequal in length. And these DNA fragments are also called as a restriction fragments. Restriction fragments. Because these are formed by the action of enzyme restriction endonuclease. And these restriction fragments, these small fragments of DNA show VNTR. VNTRs. And here DNA che fragments are unequal size che. Tenchavar VNTR asu shakta kiwa asu shakat nahi. So that we have to find by using this technique. But temporarily, first of all, we have isolated the DNA from sample material. Then its amplification is carried out if necessary. And then the DNA is cut off into many different fragments by using enzyme restriction endonuclease. These restriction fragments, I said, may or may not show the VNTR. Come to the next step, that is gel electrophoresis. Gel electrophoresis, this technique is used for the separation of restriction fragments on the agarose gel under the electric influence. Listen carefully. Gel electrophoresis, it is the technique in which these DNA fragments, these restriction fragments are separated on agarose gel under the influence of electric current. Electric currents are influence vaprun. Yadhikani agarose gel were have separated DNA fragments ahead the ek mekan pasun separate ke zata. Now how is that technique? I am going to explain by using some very simple properties. Yathikani, kai sadhya properties, kai sadhya vastu, vaprun, mithe tumala explain karna sa prayatna karthu hai. This gel electrophoresis, it needs a particular type of instrument. In that instrument, the agarose gel is poured. Agarose gel. Hepan Santo, agarose gel means it is a jelly like material obtained from sea weed agar. Sea weed means it is marine algae. Marine algae. Arthat Samudracha Panyamade Prachanda Mutha Pramana Adhanari Hek Algi Ahe, Shaiwal Ahe. It's a genus ahe. Agar. And yeah, agar pasun he agarose gel melonazata. And this agarose gel is used for this gel electrophoresis technique. So I said that initially the chamber used for gel electrophoresis is somewhat rectangular in which agarose gel is poured. Let me use some properties. Consider here is supposed to be the chamber used for gel electrophoresis. Now in this chamber, initially I said that agarose gel is poured. Upon asa kalpana karu ki he chamber gel electrophoresis sati vapar la zai. Ja madhe agarose gel he pour ke la zai bhar la zai. This chamber has electric supply. At one end there is negative and at another there is positive. So it is connected to the electric supply. At one pole there is negative charge, at another there is a positive charge. Now in this agarose gel near the negative pole some pits are made. Pits means small holes are made by using one instrument which is just like our comb. Case vinsaranya sati, jo kangwa aparla zato, tasha prakar se instrument asta, techa sayane, techa madatine, yatikane agaro gel made, negative poles over, pits padle zata, lahan lahan hole kele zata, and in these pits 
that DNA fragments are poured by using micropipette. Micropipette sa vapor karun ya pits madhe ya lahan lahan holes madhe te je DNA fragments apan collect ke lele ahe te ya thik tak le zata. अर्थात अपन सद्या एक इंडिव्यूजल च डीएनए सैम्पल घपना करू आपूया कि दुसर नंबर का जो पीठ है तैयार अपन डीएनए फ्रैगमेंट्स टाकले नौ एज इट स्टार्ट द इलेक्ट्रिक सप्लाय ज्यादा इलेक्ट्रिक सप्लाय सुरू हो टाइम द निगेटिवली चार्ज डीएनए फ्रैगमेंट्स मूव टूवर्ड्स द पॉजिटिव चार्ज through this agarose gel you know here is a agarose gel and in this pit the dna fragments are put okay ya dikani ya pit madhe apan dna fragments taklele ani ja vela electric supply suru hoto tya vela ikde positive end kade negative charged dna fragments he attract hotat move hota we know dna is negatively charged due to presence of negatively charged phosphate theek hai now that dna fragments move according to their size according to their length it means the small sized dna fragments they can move rapidly towards the positive pole while the large sized dna fragments does not move rapidly and therefore they remain behind in this manner that dna fragments that restriction fragments they appear as bands here on this agarose gel kasha prakare te distil let me show you now look here i have shown the dna fragments restriction fragments theek hai asha prakare te dna fragment je ahet ते इलेक्ट्रिक सप्लाय मुझे इलेक्ट्रिक करंट ऐसी इन्फ्लुएंस मु एकमेक सेपरेट होता अपन बहू शको हियर द स्मॉलेस्ट डीएनए फ्रैगमेंट इज मोर क्लोजर टू द पॉजिटिव पोल वाइल द लार्जर इज अवे फ्रॉम द पॉजिटिव पोल दट इज नियर द निगेटिव पोल सो दिस टेक्निक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यूज फॉर द सेपरेशन ऑफ डीएनए फ्रैगमेंट on the agarose gel under the influence of electric current now next step alkali treatment now these separated dna fragments are treated with strong alkali maybe sodium hydroxide maybe potassium hydroxide because of which the weak hydrogen bonds between the two strands of dna are broken down and it occurs denaturation denaturation of dna fragments it means the double stranded dna become single stranded the both strands of dna of each fragment get separated from each other due to the breaking of weak hydrogen bonds between them alkali cha effect mule ya thikani dna cha don strands madhe asnare je weak hydrogen bonds se te break hotil ani arthat he doni strands ekmekan pasun alag hotil separate hotil ani manun jo double stranded dna hota ata tyacha rupantar hun janare single stranded dna madhe how is that let me show you now look here single stranded dna fragments i have shown here due to the effect formed due to the effect of alkali it is followed by the next step that is sudden blotting this technique was developed by scientist sudden so the name is given after him in this step nylon or nitrocellulose membrane is used nylon or nitrocellulose membrane is used for the blotting of dna fragments for the blotting of single stranded dna fragments present in this agarose gel so that 
single stranded DNA fragments are transferred from agarogel to the nylon membrane, nitrocellulose membrane. Let me show. Consider here is supposed to be the nitrocellulose membrane. Upon Kalpana Karaki, Yatikani, nitrocellulose membrane, and it is used for the blotting. All of you are known blotting and blotting paper. Aplas Rana blotting paper tip Kagat Manje Kai Maite. Usually, we use that blotting paper to blot the ink stain or even in our laboratory during the preparation of temporary slides for the blotting of excess of water, excess of stain, the blotting paper is used. In the same manner, here this nitrocellulose membrane is used for the blotting of DNA fragments present on the agarogel. So, when this blotting paper, nitrocellulose blotting paper is pressed against the agarogel, the restriction fragments, single stranded DNA fragments present on the agarogel get transferred on this nitrocellulose membrane. Arthat, ya thikani agarogel madhe asnare je kai DNA fragments ahe te ata nitrocellulose membrane wa transfer hoti and it will look like somewhat like this. Let me show. I said that this is the nitrocellulose membrane so after blotting that DNA fragments get transferred here. You can see या ठिकाणी अगारोज जेल मध्ये असणारे सगळे डीएनए फ्रॅगमेंट्स आता या नायट्रोसेल्युलोज मेम्ब्रेन वर ट्रान्सफर झालेले आहेत दिस टेक्निक इज नोन एज द सदन ब्लॉटिंग नाउ कम टू द नेक्स्ट स्टेप आता आपण पुढच्या स्टेप कडे जाऊया हायब्रिडायझेशन लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू नाउ दिस नायट्रोसेल्युलोज मेम्ब्रेन विथ Single stranded DNA fragments is placed in a solution containing radioactive DNA probe molecules. Listen carefully. This nitrocellulose membrane with restriction fragments, separated single stranded restriction fragments, is placed in a solution containing radioactive. DNA probe molecules. Let me tell you. Radioactive or radio labeled DNA probe molecules. What does it mean? Probe. What does it mean? Probe. Not probe means to identify or to search thoroughly. Probe is a word. किंवा एखाद्या गोष्टीचा अचूक शोध लावणं याचा अर्थ होतो प्रोब अँड द मटेरियल व्हिच इज यूज्ड हियर फॉर द आयडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ व्हीएनटीआर ऑन डीएनए फ्रॅगमेंट्स ऑन रेस्ट्रिक्शन फ्रॅगमेंट्स इज कॅरीड आउट बाय द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ सम स्पेशलाइज्ड रेडिओएक्टिव डीएनए मॉलेक्युल्स नोन ॲज प्रोब मॉलेक्युल्स ऑर डीएनए प्रोब मॉलेक्युल्स अर्थात या ठिकाणी कृत्रिम रीतीने काही रेडिओ ऍक्टिव्ह डीएनए मॉलेक्युल्स तयार केले जातात आर्टिफिशियली इन लॅबोरेटरी रेडिओ ऍक्टिव्ह डीएनए मॉलेक्युल्स आर प्रिपेअर्ड अँड दीज प्रोब मॉलेक्युल्स दीज डीएनए मॉलेक्युल्स दे आर सिंगल स्ट्रँडेड अँड कॉम्प्लिमेंटरी टू द न्यूक्लिओटाइड सिक्वेन्सेस प्रेझेंट in VNTR of restriction fragments. Try to understand. हे जे DNA probe molecules तयार केले जातात ते सिंगल स्टँडर्ड असतात आणि ते कोणाला कॉम्प्लिमेंटरी असतात तर या रेस्ट्रिक्शन फ्रॅगमेंट्स वर जे VNTR आहे त्या VNTR मध्ये असणाऱ्या न्यूक्लिओटाइड सिक्वेन्सेस ला कॉम्प्लिमेंटरी असतात म्हणजे कल्पना करूया की या ठिकाणी हा एक सिंगल स्टँडर्ड रेस्ट्रिक्शन फ्रैगमेंट है एवडा एक व्ही एन टी आर है एक व्ही एन टी आर मध्य नी प्रमाण जी टी ए जी टी ए अशा प्रकार न्यूक्लिओटाइड सिक्वेन्सेस 
रिपीटेडली प्रेजेंट है मग या जी टी ए लॉम्प्लिमेंटरी असनारी न्यूक्लिओटाइड सिक्वेन्स डीएनए मॉलेक्यूल्स तैयार के उपयोग प्रोब मन जाए जी टी ए जी टी ए जी टी ए शॉर्ट सिक्वेन्स ज्यादा न्यूक्लिओटाइड्स कॉम्प्लिमेंटरी सी ए टी सी ए टी इन दिस मैनर दिस इज फॉर युअर करेक्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो आई सेट दैट इनिशियली Some radioactive DNA probe molecules are prepared, which are complementary to the nucleotide sequence present in the VNTR of restriction fragments. And I said just now, this nitrocellulose membrane with Single-stranded DNA fragments is placed in a solution containing such type of radioactive DNA probe molecules. Very simple. When these probe molecules, which are complementary to the VNTR, they can bound only with the VNTR, right? अर्थात् हे जे कई probe molecules से या सिंगल स्ट्रैंडेड रेस्ट्रिक्शन फ्रैगमेंट या संपर्क ते बाउंड होते अर्थात ज्यादा बीएनटीआर है मन कि से फॉर एक्जाम्पल हियर से फॉर एक्जाम्पल हियर इन दिस फर्स्ट डीएनए फ्रैगमेंट दिस मच पार्ट इज हैविंग बीएनटीआर देर फॉर प्रो मॉलेक्यूल कैन बाइंड ओनली टू दिस पार्ट सेम इज ट्रू हियर इन दिस सेकेंड डीएनए फ्रैगमेंट्स सपोज दिस मच पार्ट इज हैविंग वी एन टी आर सो प्रो मॉलेक्यूल्स कैन बाइंड ओनली टू दिस रीजन इफ दिस थर्ड वन इज विदउट वी एन टी आर हा तीसरा क्रमांका जे डीएनए फ्रैगमेंट से समझा वी एन टी आर नहीं से देर इज नो चांस ऑफ अटैचमेंट देर इज नो चांस ऑफ बाइंडिंग ऑफ डीएनए प्रो मॉलिक्यूल टू दीज फ्रैगमेंट्स देन इफ इन दीज फोर्थ डीएनए फ्रैगमेंट सपोज हियर इज अ वी एन टी आर इन दीज रीजन ओनली the probe molecules can bind and again here i am going to show that probe molecules which bound to the vntr of these dna fragments now after this process this process is called as the hybridization ela hybridization asa pan mhanta hybridization yacha artha kay pairing or binding of probe molecules to the DNA single stranded DNA single stranded restriction fragment at VNTR. So here are formation of that hybridized molecule. Okay, this method, this step is also known as the hybridization. Yalla mutlu zata hybridization. Now come to the next step that is the photography or auto radiography. Before going to auto radiography or photography, let me tell you: after the formation of such hybridized DNA molecule, after the binding of these DNA probe molecules to the VNTR of DNA segments, this nitrocellulose membrane is washed to remove the unbound probe molecules. Okay? How the nitrocellulose membrane is washed? Kela zato. जेने जे डीएनए प्रो मॉलिक्यूल्स इतस्त इतर ठिकाने कुछ जर चिकटन रही तो निगुन जी आता फक्त ऑन दिस नाइट्रोसेल्युलोज मेम्ब्रेन दोज डीएनए प्रो मॉलिक्यूल्स आर प्रेजेंट विच आर बाउंड टू द व्ही एन टी आर रीजन ऑफ द डीएनए फ्रैगमेंट्स बरबर है आता फक्त या ठिकाणी अशेच डीएनए प्रो मॉलिक्यूल शिल्लक आहेत की जे डीएनए फ्रॅगमेंट्स वरच्या व्ही एन टी आर ला चिकटलेले आहेत 
Now, the next step I said that is autoradiography. Here, consider this whiteboard is supposed to be X-ray film. Upon Kalpana Kara, Yatikana has a whiteboard ahead, how many X-ray film are this X-ray film is exposed to the nitrocellulose membrane. Try to understand. Yadikani, this X-ray film is exposed to the nitrocellulose membrane and X-rays are passed through this nitrocellulose membrane. What happens? Only the radioactive DNA molecules appear in the form of dark bands on the X-ray film. Jauda fakta radioactive DNA molecules ahe and probe molecules ahe. We know that probe molecules are bound with the VNTR. Artha jati kani he probe molecules ahe te X-ray film were dark bands bodam fakta appear hota and thus on the x-ray film the image appears somewhat like this image appears somewhat like this what this dark band indicates this dark band indicates the position of vntr in that different dna fragments in that different restriction fragments Teje DNA fragments of the protect DNA fragments were Nishit VNTR Kutiahe, then she size Kayahe, then so location Kayahe, then she length Kayahe, they are bands of Madatine Aplala Purushata. And these bands are nothing but the DNA fingerprint. Ya bands la matlazata, they are yakis a DNA fingerprint. So now here we have considered only the DNA sample of one individual but such DNA fingerprints of different individuals suppose in any murder case, rape case, in any crime if there are three to four suspects and one of them is only criminal some of the four or five and the job like a cut is going to be a good one but the one has a DNA fingerprint current that's a comparison killers of them so here we have discussed in detail about the technique or procedure of DNA fingerprinting. Now let me tell you briefly about the applications of DNA fingerprints. Applications of DNA fingerprinting. First, in forensic laboratories, the DNA fingerprinting is used to identify the criminal or culprit in any murder or rape cases. It is proved very useful in the identification of criminals. Second, it is also proved very useful to identify the biological parents of any young one. If there is certain paternity dispute, then the DNA fingerprint of that child and also of different individuals are compared to identify who is the actual biological father or mother of that child. It means the DNA fingerprinting is useful to solve the paternity dispute. Paternity dispute. And then, Nishchit, Ekhadya, Balakatsar, Aivadil Konahe. हे शोधण्या साठी त्यांचा डीएनए फिंगरप्रिंट मॅच करून पाहिले जातं आणि त्यावरून असलेले डिस्प्यूट हे सॉल्व केले जाऊ शकतं नेक्स्ट इट इज आल्सो यूजफुल टू फाइंड आउट द इमिग्रेंट्स यू नो इमिग्रेंट्स मींस द पीपल हु एंटर इन आवर नेशन इलीगली बेकायदेशीर रित्या दुसऱ्या देशातून घुसखोरी केलेले जे लोक आहेत त्यांना ओळखण्यासाठी याचा वापर केला जातो कारण जे लोकल स्थानिक जे जनता आहे त्यांचा फिंगरप्रिंट आणि बाहेरून आलेल्या कुठल्याही घुसखोराचं फिंगरप्रिंट त्याच्यामध्ये अजिबात साम्य नसेल सो दैट कॅन बी आयडेंटिफाइड इवन ड्यूरिंग द वॉर फॉर द आयडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ कॉर्पसेस ऑफ डेड सोल्जर्स डीएनए फिंगरप्रिंटिंग इज यूज्ड इवन टू सेटल द इन्श्योरेंस क्लेम 
इन्शुरस क्लेम करता इन्शुरस क्लेम सेटल करता डीएनए फिंगर प्रिंटिंग वपर कियादर इंडिव्यूजल शूड नॉट गेट द बेनिफिट ऑफ इन्शुरस को दुसरा व्यक्ति तो इन्शुरस का फायदा घे नए यहाँ निश्चित व्यक्ति ओखने वपर किया इवन द डीएनए फिंगर प्रिंटिंग इज यूजफुल फॉर द स्टडी ऑफ पी डिग्री दट इज द एन्सेस्टर्स ऑफ एनी लिविंग ऑर्गैनिजम इवन वी कैन से ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग द डीएनए फिंगर प्रिंटिंग इज ऑल्सो प्रूव वेरी यूजफुल इन द स्टडी ऑफ जिनोमिक्स सो ऑल दीज आर द एप्लीकेशन सो हियर वी हैव कंप्लीटेड दिस टॉपिक लेट अस स्टॉप हियर टुडे थैंक यू एंड टेक ग्रेट केयर ऑफ युअर सेल्फ बाय